Potato with the Sombra bid. It has been used by both Internet Hulk and Cranks over the course of the Overwatch World Cup. Adam, not going to stick on the Mercy, just switching back over to the Lucio as the gates open, and here, here we, we go. go. All right. Adam on that Lucio, as always, his counterpart Internet Hulk on the other side. And look at this ruckus already tagging down huge. Cranks. That Sombra being eliminated early means no EMP to worry about for the U.S. as they do this attack now. What a huge start for the U.S. Jumping to the cafe now, Skipjack goes down. Looks like it might be at a pretty quick point they take, unless Germany can turn this around in a heartbeat here. Yeah, you can see Jake throwing the shurikens, just trying to zone them out inside the cafe right now, daring them to come onto the point. It is slowly ticking up. No members of Germany have been able to get on the point itself to stop this progress, and they're gonna have to jump down eventually. Yep, Jake just reflecting. Skipjack goes down again. Sinatra manages to pop Icefeld out of the Diva suit. They've nearly got point A already, and the U.S. just dominating Germany early on here on Hollywood. Really Focus fast. fire right now. Yep. U.S. taking the high ground for the moment. Jake pulls out the Dragon Blade, looking for some juicy supports. He'll take the Sobra. Meanwhile, Sinatra will find Icefeld. The U.S. just wrecking Germany here so far in this point B push. Oh, that was one-sided, and they still managed to save their tank ultimates, too. Back into the transcendent, so Germany holding strong here right before point B. Fan Fact Fiction going to find his way into the back line of Germany, forces the sound barrier out. Well, Bainless dropped early, but Germany responding with a couple kills of their own. There's a pulse bomb. Did it get eaten? I think it may have. It yeah. did, yes. It did indeed. Yep, Sinatra taken out. Germany holding really strongly here on point B. Neighbors, when it came to picking off the back lines, was forced out by the members of Germany, so wants to make a change into there a more poke-oriented hero. Well, Sinatra, meanwhile, does manage to get the kill on Baneless in the back line, so that is something. Back Fiction, though, really low, down to just 30 health as he tries to zone Germany off the payload and give the U.S. some room to push it here. They're getting the kills they need now. The respawns are close by for Germany, but in overtime, maybe the U.S. will be able to push here. We'll see. There we go, the payload moving, and in overtime, the U.S. able to complete point B, but that does not leave them with a lot of time. Abilities from some of the German heroes with the EMP that may lead to a good self-destruct situation, and Rockus gonna pick up a kill with the help of Sinatra. Yeah, Sinatra getting two, actually, and this is the moment they've been waiting for. Rockus with the EMP, the U.S. needs to win this fight pretty big, and they do. They crush Germany, and the payload rolling in. Are they going to finish? They're so close. It's held up by the Transcendent, so coming in for Baneless. Now the sound barrier for Germany. Rockets does go down, so Germany trying to stabilize, trying to at least prevent the U.S. from getting three points, but they may or may not. We'll see. It's so close. We're into OT right now. The tank's getting back on there. Skipjack does fall. The U.S. still with a few people left, and there's another pulse bomb on Internet Hulk. The respawns are coming really quick for Germany, though, but the sound barrier maybe will let them outlast those respawns. The payload moves up. Oh, it's so close. Just one meter remaining. There we go. Send it soon. Germany has a little bit of time here. About two minutes remaining. See how much they want to commit. They're committing the sound barrier, at least, coming into back fiction right away receives a nano boost and Vainless goes down almost instantly both supports now out of the way for team germany and the u.s back to another fairly easy defense yeah they don't have any damage left over so even though germany still on the point there's nothing really to finish off any of these heroes on the side of usa and they're just going to burn through the tanks of germany one at a time that's kind of a matter of time here and unfortunately for team germany this is going to just delay things whoa they're going to go ahead and use the transcendence here back fiction responding with the primal rage though he's going to go ahead and keep skipjack bombs up for the moment barely escaped there oh no he didn't escape one last swipe of the paw on the way out. That Ooh. did it. That was a very optimistic transcendence yeah. from Germany. Yeah. Now things are really rough for Germany. Frank needs a big dragon blade. This needs to be huge. He gets Rockus. Good start for Germany. He needs more, though. He needs at least another kill or two, and he can't get it. Adam with the finishing blow there. And now Skipjack trying to roast the opposing Winston. U.S. holding on, though. Sinatra and Coolmat picking up kills, and it looks like that's going to be another hold for the U.S. Germany just trying to last on that point as long as they can, but it doesn't even look like they're getting the first tick yet. Uh, Jake has to dodge out of the way, but he still pops over the lip, and with the help of Sinatra, takes the kill on the Diva before she can resuit. Now it's desperation time. Yeah, the last of the respawns coming in for Germany. Just the supports and the DPS, but they're already down. OT ticking away, and Jake just a celebration attack visor. Hey, even got two in it. Why not? And the United States takes Hollywood. And the attack a little shaky, the defense not so much. 
Hey, Jeremy trying to come in from the right side there. See if they can accomplish. Jacob on the high ground has to worry about Cranks coming in, and he loses that duel. Little edge for Germany as they try to retake the point here. Sinatra recalling if he can get a good pulse bomb. That'd be huge, but Icefeld was right there with the defensive matrix. He saw he was trying to zone this tracer out. There we go. Thrown in. Gets the stick onto Vainless. They need it. Cranks so the kill right away on the back fiction. And the United States delaying, but Germany nearly has a point flip, and it looks like they're going to get it over the course of this weekend. Yep. They're trying to guard the door. Internet Hulk getting a little bit too far forward, though, and he's going to get punished for it. Two kills for the U.S. already. Nash coming in to try to equalize, but man, Germany looked like they lost that fight in a hurry. The U.S. nearly able to flip the point. Might be able to as soon as they get Nash off of there. Sinatra trying to do his job. Ooh, they barely don't flip it, actually. Cool Matt popped out of the Diva suit. And I don't know if they're going to be able to get enough people back in there. No, not with the respawns, not with Cranks. Pulling out the Dragon Blade and Nesh picking up a couple kills as well. Germany looking a little bit uneasy, a little bit shaky for the moment, but they hold. And Cranks at the end there pulling out a Dragon Blade that he just didn't need. He had a teammate, he has teammates there. He had an advantage in terms of the number of people on the attack. But that's going to be oh, it to wait it out. Crank's going to oh, die off the same as Sinatra. We'll get him during the attack visor with the pulse bomb, and now this is Jake's opportunity. Yep, trying to dive in there. He's getting zoned pretty hard by Skipjack, though. He's got the transcendence keeping him healthy in the U.S., winning this fight. This is their moment to try to take back the point again. Okay, here we go. Germany just running right onto the point. The U.S. has to respond. The sound barrier comes in for both sides. Sinatra pretty close to that uh, pulse bomb. They want Crank, even though he's on the healing field, and now he's got a transcendence, too. Yep, that's pretty tough. Sinatra Ooh. going down, not getting the kill that the U.S. really needs. And Pack Fiction finally juggles Cranks to death, but his team falling a bit around him. The like the US, oh, man, just punching him out. That's a bold move, punching yeah. a gorilla in close range to death, but it works hey. out for Internet Hulk. Sometimes it works. Icefeld actually got the, uh, the boot. And now they get punished for it. The point has flipped. They're going to try and back cap it right now. Oh, they can get Icefeld out of the back. That's going to open up the attack visor. They're just going to go for it anyway. He's firing, though. Germany on the side, and Nesh a little bit low, trying to escape. Nesh taken out Adam, I believe. Kind of knocked him off there, and the U.S. actually flips it back. They managed to back cap it a little bit. Now they have to hold it, though. 72% right now, losing a few people. There's a the transcendence from Germany. They need to channel that ult into more kills, though. All right. Sound barrier for Germany. Just trying to stay on the point long enough to flip it. Sinatra nearly booped off, but he had the recall. Pulse bomb. Not getting anything quite yet. Nesh, meanwhile, the opposing traits are doing quite well. And Germany looks like they should be able to grab the point again. I mean, but well, a, maybe, a maybe window, not. And, like, it's going to go up to 99%, so yeah. yes, they will get it eventually, but they have to evict this gorilla. You know, now the respawn zone so coming in for the U.S. Maybe just in time to keep it going, but no, I think the U.S., yeah, they have to, to grab the high ground for a moment. Not doing a ton of damage, though, the U.S. Building up that control meter, trying to flip the point. We are at 99.99 right now. Painless on the outside, Skipjack does go down. Germany, Sansa tank, now Sansa DPS. Transcendence comes in a little bit low for the Zenyatta, a little bit late rather. Sound barrier for the US though, as they try to fight back. Internet Hulk looking for those boots, but he can't find it. There's the self-destruct, it does catch Adam, but the US with the advantage on the point for the moment. Icefell popped out, there's the take again, and the US will get it. Can they get it through overtime? They can! The so they prevented the US from flipping it right off the bat. There's a sound barrier to give Germany a little bit more staying power. The U.S. dedicates the transcendence to it. Self-destruct. Oh, catches two! How in the world? Cool Matt 69 finds some crucial kills. Can the U.S. actually flip the point, though? They got a deal with this primal raging Winston first. Yeah, but that's the thing, Doa. Yes, they got the two kills with the self-destruct, but it's not helping them really flip the point any faster thanks to the Winston ultimate. Cranks back. He's not going to use the Dragon Blade. Whoa. Save that one uh, for a counter push. So close, really, from winning this game. But the delay on and the respawn times coming in from the U.S. made it so they Whoa. were able to stabilize, and that is wow. big. That is a big delay right there. That is why you picked Sinatra for your national team, man. Sinatra's because still healthy on the outside, as you can see, and we're in to overtime now. Zen's popping their transcendence. Jake waiting it out. The Dragon Blade's gonna come in just a moment. There it is, looking for the opposing. Oh, he just take it out, though. Icefell comes in with the charge. He was trying to cut down the other Genji, and Germany winning this fight. They're gonna flip the point, and I think we're going for another 99-99 battle. Uh, if they can even get back to the point in time, Doa, Adam is there, but he's gonna have to use his sound barrier even to just hold onto it for a few seconds. He's making Probably. the beeline in. Where's the sound barrier? Does he have time to get it? Oh, he got knocked back by the charge from D.Va. 
Sombra coming in, Jake is there, we're into OT, Crank's still getting both of those kills, and with the with the reinforcement streaming in for the US, I don't know if they're gonna be able to take it. It's not gonna be easy, although Vainless does go down. Back Fiction trying to stay alive on the side here, down to no health. There's the sound barrier, got it just in time to stay up for the moment, but Pr Cranks comes in and gets the kill. And still in OT. And they're still working on this Germany with a slight advantage at the moment, but no ultimates available. It is just a pure brawl. That's There's right. a transcendence. And that's a big ultimate for the U.S. to get. Now Icedell popped out of the Diva suit. This is the moment, perhaps, for the U.S. to flip the point. The reinforcement's still going to come in from Germany, though. But Nash is dead. That's one DPS down. And now Jake's back up with another Dragon Blade. Oh, uh, Cranks did kill off the Diva, though. Rock is getting one. It's still such a fight between these two teams. Jake really trying to take internet. Hulk, he gets him. And the U.S. slips the point. OT takes away. And somehow, some way, the U.S. will take Nepal. Barely, Doa, by the skin of their team. It really could not have been much closer than that, could it? Ooh, again, Vainless gets caught by the dive from the U.S. And immediately, Jake finish off, finishes off the other support. And guess oh what's boy. coming, Doa? It's time for D.Va I think to take so. a trip to the D.Va ditch. I think so. Okay, here it comes. Go join your friends, all the other D.Va clones. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, she uh, wins the distance record there. That's the, that's the farthest we've seen a D.Va go yet today. Slowly oh. making their way onto the point right now. Transcendence pop to start things off, and there is Cranks with the Dragon Blade. Yep, that's right. Oh, but it's cut down by Jake. And now the U.S. going to go in with their own ultimates. Jake not finding any kills until the dash at the end. It was enough damage to set that one up. Germany still on the point for the moment, but they haven't even claimed the first tick yet. And it looks like they won't be able to. The U.S. played that so patiently. And really, Crank's just over committing outside of the point. He wasn't in the safety of his support ultimate. So the later Dragon oh. Blade pull of the it's, patience by Jake. It's a new high score <laughs> from downtown. Straight to the oh, Demon Ditch. Germany down to 30 seconds left. They really need to make this push work. Skipjack dropping the shields and not for going down. Bane was finally with a little bit of revenge from the support standpoint. Oh, until he gets cut down by Jake immediately. But it's an even fight so far. Germany with a real opportunity here. Skipjack pops that primal ray and the U.S. getting forced back. I think maybe Germany finally has it. Yeah, with 11 seconds remaining, Germany going to find their time on the point. They will end up capping it. Yeah, it looks like the U.S. just going to pull back and let them have it. A lot of waving going on from that side of the map. They're like, all right, all right, the point is yours. But only four minutes now for Germany to take. Let's watch again. All right. We'll take a look at that one. Yeah, Sinatra Skipjack, Skipjack panics and then <laughs> explodes his teammates. Oh, like, sorry, guys. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> but Cool Matt has been great at shutting DPS down this tournament. That's right, the U.S. falling back. They got to play this one safely, Ice felt. Just getting some shots off. Oh, he nearly takes on back fiction. Can't quite finish him off, though. There's a primal rage. We're into overtime right now. Rockets comes in for the sick bloodthirsty support kill. And the U.S. with that sound barrier should have enough to hold Germany right here. Looks like they will. Overtime ticking down, and it looks like Germany is going to have to be satisfied with 42.3%. The U.S., all they need to do is take that amount on point B, and they will go to BlizzCon. Yeah, I like uh -oh. this. Oh, that Jake Ruckus. does get taken out. Yeah, Rock is found pretty quickly. So there we go. I was going to say, I like this from the United States. You want to make these adjustments oh. very fast. In fact, Fiction going to. How oh, embarrassing. <laughs> wow. Good distance on that Winston, too. I'm going after the peanut butter. Don't try to stop me. <laughs> All right, going back with Nash with the cleanup of this fight. Nice shot doing the damage to Jake to set up the kill. And then a couple sick snipes on the supports. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Jake should have Ooh. called in cool match oh, target, but uh -oh. Jake does find Vainless. Yeah, so Vainless does get picked. There's the EMP. Internet help coming in, though. Back fiction drops immediately. Germany following up on that ultimate from Sober really well. Cool man, given the nano boost, he's going to go in with fairly low health, but he's got Rockus behind him, healing him up. Jake, though, does go down. He actually died to the Venom Mine from Nesh. That's not a common sight here no. in Overwatch. You don't see that icon too much. Meanwhile, though, Coolman69 still on the point right now. They've got to deal with Crank, can't quite do it. There's the self-destruct, trying to delay long enough for his team to get back and keep that control meter building. Skipjack in the primal rage, though, is going to be hard to dislodge. And now that Icefeld is back, 
US is going to kind of struggle a bit. Yeah, I think they may reset. Trying to keep it going for just a moment. They don't want to lose that progress. They're going to dedicate the sound barrier to this as well. And as Winston's ult ends, there's the opportunity. Jake coming in, and he's got the Dragon Blade. He may not even need it, though. That sound barrier proving highly useful for the United States. Adam timing it right as everybody's sprinting back to the point. So Sinatra can pull up a big Dragon Blade right here, and they also have the Tack Visor. This is it. The U.S. really needs to make something happen, and Sinatra is going in with the Dragon Blade. Skipjack falls immediately. Now time to try to get onto those respawns. Cranks waiting back. We'll see what he can do. There's the self-destruct for Eiffel. Gets one. Fact Fiction gets taken down. Transcendence now for Germany as they try to stay alive on the point. Jake misses the Helix Rocket. Oh, but the headshots are real. Internet Hulk a little bit low. Jake can get this one. It's a big kill. And the U.S. coming in now. Okay, here's the opportunity. Jake really opening up an opportunity for the United States to possibly win this one. They've got a little bit of control meter building. I, this is the nightmare. Jake has no pressure on them. Germany has to get onto that high ground and convince him to stop doing damage, but he's not taking that for an answer. Continuing to fire down on top of the point. Yeah, Craig's got to get up there, man. He's coming up with the Dragon Blade, but there's the melee. They got just enough damage on him just in time, and the control meter nearly there. Just one or two more kills, and the U.S. They've done it. They are going to BlizzCon. And it was in the end, Doha. They seem to just be able to collect themselves under that pressure when it's do or die. They win the fights, and they will win 3-0. Just a great team effort by the United States at the end there. His team jumping on the point, giving Jake the room he needed to show that accuracy on the Soldier 76. Get the kills handled against Genji.